Alright, now let's hop into method arguments. You may have seen these before. A method argument is things you can pass into a method and have the method do things with it. So, at the end of your method name, put in parentheses and then you can space it out as much as you want. Now inside of it, you can write in variable names. These are all going to be local. So we'll start with a boolean for this one. And I'm going to call this one on underscore or off. And that's going to be an argument, just one of them. Now, when it comes to example one, if I'm going to run this, it's going to crash. See? Wrong number of arguments. 0 for 1. And that would be because, since it's an argument here, I need to pass something in. And this is since this is a boolean, true. And at the moment, I'm not doing anything with the argument, I'm just telling it to pass in an argument. So, it's going to do the exact same thing it did last tutorial. Great. Now we'll just get rid of this. Alright, and now we'll do... Let's just box. So P. True. All right, and that's the cool thing about if statements. You could do if statements on one line if you want to, like the following. So if I want to write an if statement, doing that, and I want to put in multiple codes and. Yeah, if I want to do more than one line of code, I need to write an if statement like that. But, if I'm just doing going to do one line of code like this, I can put the if statement there like that. And that works just fine. I'll get more into that in another tutorial. Yep. True. So now, we'll put it as false. And we'll get rid of example 2, since that's not necessary anymore. And we'll run it again. Cool, nothing happened. Alright, now we'll just stop worrying about the boolean and we'll try something else. We'll have a boolean and now we're going to have a number. Then we can put in a string. Let's put in a string. Alright, and be advised of the commas that are after it. So now if, I'm running, if I run it again, it will, still, it will give me another error because I haven't passed in the arguments of these two. So, since the first one's a number, we can put in 76, and that one's going to be a string, so I'm just going to put in A. Okay. So, we don't have to worry about the boolean anymore, so I just won't worry about it. Number, we'll print out the number. And we'll also print out the string. Six, A. Cool. And that's what we wanted. All right. And just to prove that it works exactly as it says it is, we'll do a couple more. We'll go B, and then we'll go text, and then we'll change this to uh, 34 and 12. And we'll also change these. One can be true. That, that will print out true or false. 76, A, false, 34, B, false, 12, text, true. And those are arguments. So now we can do a couple of additional things. We can go string is equal to A. And can you guess what that's going to do? You'd probably imagine that's going to assign A to string no matter what, but no. What's going to happen is this is a def this is a default argument. So if I decide not to pass in A here, it will automatically ret return A, and it won't give me an error for this. Let's try it out. 76, A, false. 34, B, false. And that's what a default argument is. But, and you can do it 
for all your arguments if you really want to. So I could have number equals 56 and then on or off equal to false. But you cannot do the following. You cannot have a default argument here and then have one that isn't the default argument over here and then have another default one over here. If you're going to have default arguments, they always have to be the last last ones. So this I cannot do now. But I can do this. That's just fine. Play it. Any eight a false. Absolutely stunning. And that's arguments for methods.